I'm Rick Wolcott and uh, I'm a retired uh, forestry person. I work with uh, Southern Regional uh, Youth Programs and I've been involved in primitive skills education oh, since about 1970. I'm not a school teacher but I've been doing a lot of training of adults so that they can train their kids through junior forest wardens and junior rangers. And since about 1980, I've been teaching uh, carving, mostly uh, two types of carving, bird carving and uh, west coast carving. Telling stories that are related to the carvings. Mr. Frog is sitting by the pond. He was feeling a little bit hungry, so he looked at his wristwatch and was like, uh, oh, yeah. it's time for lunch. How, how high are we up here, Mr. Eagle? Oh, probably about a kilometer, maybe a kilometer and a half. Oh, well. So how long have you been carving for? Well, my mom said I carved a little canoe with a native in it and a paddle at the age of four and a half with a pocket knife that I found. But I don't know, it's probably closer to five or six. Oh. And then the big one I'm working on here is a hook hook, which is just a big version of this one here. Oh yeah. It's a, a big version of that. What's your favorite piece that you've ever worked on? Oh. Mm. I think I think it would be a, a totem pole I'm working on. Uh, my daughter passed away and it's a, like a memorial pole. Uh, it's a, a wolf with a frog coming out of its mouth holding on to a copper. <coughs> right? Um, it has yet to be finished. <laughs> right. A piece of the heart. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite one to teach? Oh, featherboards. Featherboards, I yeah, love those. I love it. Yeah, yeah, because they're quick, they're easy. Uh, most of them have stories that go with them. And uh, people, I, I found like with a teacher's convention, I can do it all in one or two days. People walk away with a finished product. I like to teach classes where people can finish it during the class. These classes where they go for three months, people often do two or three things. If they only work on it during the class, which is three hours Sunday afternoons, uh, they usually do one or two projects. But if they work on it at home, they might get five or six.
Um, do you sell your work? Um, I, I say I probably give away more stuff than I sell, but yeah, myself, I sell pieces. I've got to sell more pieces probably or get rid of them because I have to make room for the new stuff. You're known as a storyteller. Yeah. Um, where did you learn all these stories? From my grandfather. Uh -huh. Well, not all of the stories, but a lot of them, the Tillamook stories mm -hmm. uh, out of Oregon. Uh, I used to spend my summers with him and, and a lot of weekends, but uh, he, um, he would tell me the stories, but also, well, he started off, he started off tool making uh, on the kitchen table, much to my grandma's chagrin. And, and then he started driving us around to the places where the stories took place. And so you'd see the, so they're place related and they're specific stories on what happened there. going to show you a shearing cut now in it, uh, if you use any any carving tool and you come straight like this that's a chiseling cut that's the way a chisel cuts but a shearing cut is when you angle it like this and you take off a thing that looks like that you see how it curls like a spring that takes 75 percent less effort than a chiseling cut they give you little curlicues like that. Oh, wow. 